Hi everyone, uh, my name is Clay from uh, Grant's Workroom and uh, the uh, developer of the Embroidery Deduper software. I wanted to talk to you today about the new folder consolidation add-on for the Embroidery Deduper. This is the first add-on that we've had for the Deduper. It is an optional uh, feature and you would need to pay extra for it. However, it's very inexpensive. It's, it's only $10 uh, if you own the uh, full version of the Embroidery Deduper and I want to demonstrate what it can do for you. There are numerous times where you have multiple subfolders in your embroidery designs and there are a lot of cases where perhaps it may not actually be necessary to have separate subfolders for for the various designs. In this example I have an alphabets folder with a floral font uh, subfolder. As you can see there are multiple folders, one for each uh, letter of the alphabet, so and there's only one single design in that subfolder. There also aren't any supporting files such as color charts or JPEGs, so there's really no, no reason why we actually need separate subfolders uh, for this particular uh, set of designs under floral fonts. Now the reason it could get that way uh, could be for a number of reasons. One being that perhaps the digitizer had um, a download of the day and, and they just gave out maybe over almost a month uh, time period a freebie uh, with a separate zip file for each, uh, for each letter of the alphabet. Now that zip file uh, could have had maybe six or eight different formats in it initially. Uh, but you only needed say the one like Pez for example for whatever brand of machine you own. So what what happens is uh, it, there would be a separate subfolder for each for each design and this could have been created by the deduper or, or maybe manually if you would have just unzipped it to um, a subfolder under under Windows with WinZip or under the, uh, the normal built-in Windows unzipper. So for whatever reason uh, you may have multiple uh, subfolders with very few designs in them. So I could choose to manually uh, move each file up to the floral fonts folder and then go back and delete them. Um, but with the new folder consolidation add-on, I don't need to do that manually. So we must first uh, set our options for the folder consolidation add-on. We do that by edit preferences. The preferences window has changed in this latest version, so it looks a little different uh, where we don't have tabs any longer. We have categories over to the left. You'll notice a new one called folder consolidation. So if we, if we have this add-on enabled, you'll see various options here. In this case, I want to flatten, which means to consolidate, all folders that are scanned. Um, there's also another option to say, only only try to consolidate folders that the deduper has created a subfolder for because of a, a zip file. So in, in this particular case, since these folders already exist out there, I'm going to scan all of them. Now notice where it says if thresholds are met. What that means is that um, in the subfolder there are only embroidery designs with no supporting files. The embroidery deduper the add-on will not consolidate folders if there are supporting files there uh, because those supporting files need to stay grouped together with those with those embroidery designs presumably because they're useful for some reason such as um, color charts, uh, JPEG images uh, that are strongly correlated to those designs. Um, and then th the threshold is about this number. The default value is 3. That means that if three or fewer embroidery designs exist in a subfolder, then it will be a candidate for consolidation. And it always, uh, well, the default behavior is to prompt you before it actually consolidates. And this looks very similar to the duplicate summary window where you're prompted and you have the option to un unselect any folders that you really don't want consolidated. So let's go ahead and dedupe that. I want to make sure that I'm out of that folder. I'll hit OK. We need to select that folder to tell the deduper that we want to dedupe it. And now we'll proceed. Now in this particular case there were not any duplicates found. 
uh, nor were there probable duplicates found. However, because we have this new add-on, we'll see a new window called the Consolidation Summary Window. You can see there are 52 folders that it can consolidate in this example. Notice that the contents of these folders here, which are those individual alphabet folders, the contents will be moved from here over to this folder, which is that Floral Fonts parent folder. So it's, in other words, it's going to move all of the files up one level uh, to the, fo the Floral Fonts folder. And I had two complete alphabets that had that same condition here, which is why there's 52, um, 52 candidates to be moved. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Consolidate Selected Folders and proceed. Had I not want to consolidate certain ones, I could uncheck them here. When, when this is happening, if you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see this um, number incrementing as it's progressing. So you'll know that it's actually doing something. We see that going now. And it has finished. Now let's have a look back at the uh, embroidery, uh, sorry, the Windows Explorer window to see what it looks like now. As you can see, that floral fonts folder has no subfolders under it now. All 52 of those subfolders have been eliminated and the contents of them, which was these in individual embroidery designs, have been moved up into the floral fonts folder. This makes it much easier to manage and it was um, by far faster than, um, than actually having to manually uh, move each, each set of files up to the parent and uh, delete all of those empty folders as we go along. Uh, this took about one second to run so, um, and it's extremely thorough. So it's a very fast way and inexpensive really for $10 to analyze your folders and try to get rid of all those extraneous subfolders that you really may not need to have things and, and really make your embroidery collection more compact so it'll make things easier for you to manage and find your files in the future. So this concludes the uh, presentation on how the folder consolidation add-on uh, works and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.